जी नमस्ते नमस्ते एवरीबॉडी वेलकम सो वी आर ट्राइंग टू ऑब्जर्व द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ इन एक्सरसाइज वन एंड वी केम अप टू स्टेप फोर यस्टे इन स्टेप वन वी वर जस्ट ऑब्जर्विंग the imagination as it was happening without evaluating without changing stopping just observing and particularly we were trying to observe the feeling in step 2 we were asking whether the feeling is naturally acceptable whatever feeling we were having at any moment whether it was naturally acceptable to us or not whether we wanted its continuity or not in step 3 we were asking about the impact of this feeling that we had evaluated whether it was leading to my happiness or unhappiness and now in step 4 we are asking the question who is the one who is deciding this feeling this is important question because this is leading to my happiness or unhappiness so it is important for me to answer this question who is taking the decision for this feeling is it some external physical condition that is responsible for this feeling is another human being responsible for this feeling or am i myself responsible for this feeling and one major shift that happens it is like a a huge eye opener that you suddenly realize oh it is me and now if you have a feeling that is naturally acceptable that changes the whole thing because earlier it was like you are helpless somebody else is making you happy or unhappy now you realize it is you yourself because if i am taking the decision there is no need for me to be unhappy i can as well take the decision for a feeling that is associated with my happiness rather than unhappiness so that is a major step we do many things for the happiness of the other but in the process we in fact make them unhappy because we ourselves are unhappy when we are unhappy there is no way we can make somebody else happy or even try for that because we are already unhappy we will share with everyone only what we have if i am unhappy i cannot share happiness with other i will only share what i have isn't it okay this is what we are saying that we will look at the feeling that we are having and we will see whether this feeling is naturally acceptable or not naturally acceptable and you will find that whenever you are unhappy the feeling is not naturally acceptable to you then you just look at what is naturally acceptable to you you will find that in all situations all activities what is naturally acceptable to you is the feeling of relationship it is the feeling of harmony it is the feeling of coexistence but we'll come to that in the next steps okay fine fine yeah so then when we have that feeling now there is no problem anyway we were doing the activity but we were doing it with unhappiness now we can do that activity happily and when we do that that is that turning point that game changer or the change in your experience of life when you realize that this is all there was to it so many years and years and years i was living in such a foolish manner this is all that was required i just needed to change my feeling that is it so that is a very big um step a very um sort of a revealing or a very you know that shifting step where 
you realize that your happiness and unhappiness have really nothing to do with another person but has everything to do with you yourself this is when we are referring to the natural acceptance when we don't refer to the natural acceptance when we only look at our imagination or when we are not even looking at the imagination when we we are thinking and feeling something and that is all we see then that becomes the most important so then it becomes my opinion versus somebody else's opinion and how dare they come you know change try to change my opinion and i get stuck with that that boundary i have to cross over i have to go beyond this imagination and refer to the natural acceptance that shift has to happen when that shift happens then i can see that this is all in it was something very foolish that i was spending so much time over and being so unhappy about there was nothing to it that shift has to happen in each one of us and will happen at some point and we'll be able to see that yeah okay. yes so if we go a little bit forward we had been through this earlier so it is the self who is deciding the feeling i am deciding the feeling that i have at any moment the other human being or the situation outside can act as a trigger it can help to draw my attention but ultimately the decision is being made by me and on the basis of that decision i am happy or i am unhappy so essentially i am responsible for my happiness or unhappiness and if i look at this in depth i will find that i am 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness so with that observation i will be able to draw two important conclusions one is that i will be able to see that whenever i am unhappy it is my lack of competence because i am not referring to my natural acceptance i am not seeing that the feeling that i am having is not one that i want so i will you know become willing to take responsibility for my own self development for my own transformation so i will become more determined to look at my natural acceptance to start working on having the right feeling within and working towards my own transformation my own self development the second thing that will happen is i'll stop complaining about others because i can see it's not the other person who is responsible for my unhappiness it is me myself so there's nothing to complain about about anybody else i just just need to work on myself that's all previously the situation was diff- different when i was thinking that everybody else is responsible for my unhappiness then certainly i had lot of complaints about them and i kept trying to make them change i kept trying to make them improve and i was very unhappy in the process because i could see that they are not changing i didn't think that i have to do anything for myself so i wasn't trying to change myself i wasn't trying to transform myself but i was just constantly unhappy that the other is not changing but if you look at the other the other was wanting me to change isn't it but if from two sides both sides are wanting the other to change they are not making any effort to change how is it going to happen there will be no transformation and there will be complaints on both sides and there will be unhappiness on both sides isn't it end of the day we want to be happy 
we ask our natural acceptance we do want to be happy we do want to make the other happy but what are we doing these are our loved ones many of us many of them these are the people we care about still we go through this time and again year after year moment after moment minute after minute day after day hour after hour, whatever it be throughout this is happening from time to time we are having this unhappiness and we are making the other unhappy for what that's not what we want it but we are not able to get past seeing our opinions our thoughts and we think that this is the most important when all that cloud of you know the the conflicting thoughts is there constantly we are thinking about my opinion is important how come somebody else can change this opinion or how can they have a different opinion now that rigidity comes in now that unhappiness comes in now i am trying to change the other person and in that process i don't realize that i am becoming more and more unhappy and that's not what i wanted ultimately i wanted to be happy and i wanted to make the other happy but when i start seeing beyond this when i start referring to my natural acceptance then i can see it is very simple there is nothing to it and really speaking my happiness is linked to the happiness of the other because when i am happy i can help the other to be happy i can at least spread my happiness to the other and if that makes the other person happy then that is what makes me happy ultimately whenever two people have a fight that unhappiness is not in one person alone the unhappiness is in both isn't it if if you know anybody has a, a fight with their spouse an argument unhappiness is on both sides or is it only one yourself for a moment if you forget about the other person also if you just see what you wanted then even for what you wanted you are not able to do that that is too much no in my own thoughts in my own feelings if i can't be what i want to be then what's the point but i am busy trying to put the other person down and i think that i will be happy but in the process i become unhappy if i can see that then i will see that my happiness is in the happiness of the other so that shift has to happen that turning point has to happen in us so talking of examples we we'll look at this example and then maybe we'll do a 10 minute observation so if you look at what happens when someone says something harsh or abusive to you what happens that sound is reaching your ears you have to pay attention to it right you have to listen to the words you have to think about them and then you draw some conclusion from them it this may be happening very fast but if you see if you don't understand the words right if you don't draw any conclusion from them then what you feel about them may be different but some sound is reaching you you pay attention to it you listen to it you pay attention to the words you draw some conclusion from the words now the feeling that you are having is it decided by you or by the other person certainly it is decided by you this is what we have been concluding with all the examples that we are seeing now if you see if i had drawn some other conclusion then what would my feeling be 
so like in the examples that just now rekha ji was giving or in the previous example that we were talking about with devi prasanna ji you will notice that it is the conclusion that i am drawing based on that conclusion i am feeling something that conclusion i am drawing where is it coming from that meaning that i am giving to it maybe from my own perspective something i may have assumed which may not be true isn't it supposing this person who was saying harsh words or you know abusive words to me first of all you know i have decided i have listened and come to this conclusion that this is abusive this is harsh i may also have many assumptions that this person must not say words like this to me and so on there may be many assumptions but supposing i come to know that this person has some serious psychiatric problem if i come to know that this person doesn't really understand what he is saying now what will be my feeling feeling of pity maybe compassion or opposition what do you think only i will have pity i will have compassion important thing is now just try to see how you would feel when you have a feeling of opposition versus when you have a feeling of compassion how do you feel within you isn't it that is significant you will realize that with this feeling you are calm you are comfortable because this is a feeling that is naturally acceptable to you but if i think that the other person is fine and he is saying the words now what is my feeling then i might have feeling of opposition isn't it so the words are the same what has changed the only thing that has changed is my interpretation of those words that were said in both cases i am listening to the same words the same harshness with which the other person spoke those same words in these two situations in both the situations the sound is reaching the ears in both the situations i am paying attention to the words i am paying attention to you know listening to the words i am thinking about them and then i am drawing some conclusion from them only difference is that the conclusion i drew was different in the two cases isn't it so the only thing that has really changed is my own interpretation of the words that were said so the stimulus from outside is the same my feeling changes based on my interpretation so that means for sure i am the one who is deciding a particular feeling isn't it the outside situation the outside other person can draw my attention to it but ultimately i am the one who is deciding the feeling isn't it now if i base this feeling on right understanding if i base this feeling on my natural acceptance on the natural acceptance rather than assuming something about the other person's behavior now the whole thing changes now i am calm i am comfortable i am happy regardless of what is happening outside regardless of the other person shouting and screaming now i see that the other person is the one who is in the problem so now my whole focus becomes how i can help this other person and in this process not only am i trying to help the other person i am myself very calm very comfortable i am happy 
So that shift can happen. It will happen at some point. When we see this happening, you know, when someone has a physical deformity or physical ailment, then we are quick to see. But the same thing when the other person, we don't see any ailment outside, we think all is fine. Why is he, why should he speak like that? Somewhere we have decided how he should behave. Our expectation of his behavior is of a particular time. No problem in that. But all my expectations will be met if I believe that then there is a problem because the expectation may not be met. If there is a person with a stick, you know, like a blind person, they have they carry a stick with them. And he's trying to cross the road. What do we do? We feel some compassion for the other person. We try to if we are close by, we'll try to help them cross the road, isn't it? Supposing this person is wearing dark glasses and having a cane, we have some feeling for this person. Now the other person, after crossing the road, he takes down his glasses and he's not actually blind and starts laughing. Now what is our feeling? Now our feeling is very different, isn't it? We get irritated. We have feeling of opposition. Earlier, we saw it as some physical deformity. Now we are not seeing that physical deformity, so we, uh, you know, have a different now interpretation that he should behave in, in a certain way. But if we see this internally also, there is a lack of competence which we are not seeing. There is a lack of understanding in that person that we are not able to see. But if we could see that the other, it's not that the other's intention is bad. The other's intention is not to trouble me or to hurt me. It is that the other lacks the understanding. He, his competence is the one that is lacking. If I see that, then the whole picture changes. Now, I don't have that feeling of opposition. And even like I keep saying, even before, you know, getting to the other person, if I see for myself, having the right feeling is the one that makes me happy. Having a feeling of opposition is the one that makes me unhappy. So in the process of trying to punish the other or trying to um, show the other that he did something wrong, he needs to change. In that process, I am also becoming unhappy. If we could see that, then we will see the pointlessness in that. So what we'll do now is we'll um, spend maybe 10 minutes trying to observe our own feeling and trying to see you know, about this feeling. Let us see if, you know, we are making these, or we are deciding on these feelings on some meaning we are drawing about the situation, about the other person, some conclusion we have come to. Based on the basis of that, we are deciding our feeling. So ultimately, I am deciding my feeling. Can we observe this? So if we see for the next 24 hours, what we can do in every incident, every interaction with others, check your feeling, ask yourself this question, who is deciding the feeling? So conceptually, you know, we may have talked about this, but you must try to ask this question for yourself, in yourself. Who is deciding the feeling? Is someone else deciding the feeling? Is the circumstance outside deciding my feeling? Or is it myself who is deciding the feeling? 
and ask this question am i happy or unhappy and who is responsible for my happiness or unhappiness is it the other person that i was interacting with is it some circumstance outside or is it myself so circumstances also can be you know sometimes associated and we may think that it is the circumstance that is causing my happiness or unhappiness for instance i may be all set to go out i am ready and it starts raining and i become unhappy oh no the rain has come now i can't go out this always happens and then i may go into a whole lot of you know complaints about how the weather is so unsuitable and there is no morning it was sun was shining and why it is raining now and all of that and we start complaining and becoming unhappy about it another option can just be okay it's raining let me take an umbrella and go out i don't have to stop my activities that i had to do so i can continue to do those activities with the right feeling feeling that is naturally acceptable so we'll see these examples in every day life so many times in a day we are taking so many decisions it may seem sometimes like devi prasanna ji was sharing that the other is responsible for my feeling that if the other had not said such and such thing i would not feel that way but again after going through these examples it may have become clear that regardless of what the other person is saying whatever conclusion i am drawing of what the other has said that is really deciding my feeling and ultimately that is what is deciding my happiness or unhappiness depending on the feeling i chose to have yes so like we were sharing with uh, amul ji's example the other day that you know one time i come home i am hungry food is not ready i have feeling of opposition for my spouse who might be cooking and that you know it's not ready in time i am hungry and i have to wait and all of that next mm-hmm. uh, after few days i come home food is not ready i am not even hungry i am quite mm-hmm. feeling full i am not even hungry but mm-hmm. the very fact that the food is not ready i think mm-hmm. about the previous instance and i become unhappy mm-hmm. and i have a feeling mm-hmm. of opposition that this is always the case mm-hmm. now there was no reason but still there is no reason yeah yeah ma'am true yeah it happens so when we become aware of it we can go past that mm-hmm. yeah thank you supraja ji uh, there is just a minute more if it is something brief we'll take it no okay didi no problem i just want to say <coughs> the feeling i am i am feel i only concluding that i am happy or unhappy mhm <coughs> and secondly but um, no problem didi we will discuss tomorrow no problem okay first thing tomorrow morning ah uh, you can bring up this question sure sure didi sure didi i'll yeah. do that thank you yeah. thank you so much uh, tomorrow